The stock market saw red day throughout this week. Perhaps today will be an exception. I don't know yet. Uh, we're just getting to the final trading day, getting started. Rotimi Fakaijo from Enterprise Stockbrokers has got a few minutes here to chat to the bearish trading week. Rotimi from Enterprise Stockbrokers, good morning. Thanks to, uh, for having you here. Is this a correction the market uh, everyone has been uh, talking about? Uh, well, I don't really want to agree with you because um, the results are not yet here. And uh, the tone of the market this morning is different from what had been since the beginning of the week. So presently, the market is uh, uh, northward. Uh, we've done over 1.79 billion era value this morning. And the index. Uh, in terms of what you, you think about this correction, any idea in particular why this is there? Investors just think they should book some profit too early. Uh, are they scared of anything? Are they worried about anything out there in the news? Because some um, securities actually have had, have had an upside of close to 40% within the year. So anybody selling at that price is making a lot of sense. So to me, I believe that... Um, they are just trying to exercise caution. While they're moving more investment, they are also crystallizing what has already been in place. So they are, they are getting it side by side, and I think uh, that's what makes the market to move. So some people sell, some people buy. And we are having new entrants into the market right now anyway. And I believe strongly that uh, the way it's looking, it's most likely that uh, the 0.33% positive attack now will change to almost more than 1% at the end of closing today. Uh, let's go specifically to, to Wando with news that we have uh, about the peace accord that has been talked about. Then there was a newspaper report yesterday uh, that uh, the SEC says the uh, forensic audit will continue. The court case is still there. Uh, and this share is still on technical association. But this is very significant that the volume that we saw in the last two, three weeks, multi-million on a daily basis, is cooling off a little bit. You don't know why. Uh, well, I think uh, the most um, tenable reason for that is that nobody is selling right now. In fact, uh, as of yesterday, the closing bid was um, two, over 200 million. And as of this morning, the bid is 225 million units. Hold and on a second. Volume done this morning. Okay. When you say bid, oh, hold on a second, Ruth, when you say bid, in layman language, it means those who want to buy the shares of Owando. Yes, and it is not available for them to buy. The shares so is not available? Yes, we have about a volume of 225 million to be bought, but there is no volume available for sale. So nobody That's wants to now. sell, but a lot of people want to buy. Exactly. The shares of Rwanda. Exactly. They're very interesting. Everything is following, following through with a peace accord that was reached. And I believe maybe if the two parties have already reached that peace accord, I think uh, going forward, the technical suspension ought to be lifted while the forensic uh, audit uh, quick, continues. Uh, a quick one, uh, Rotimi, let's, Rotimi, quick one, the last one. If the price of Wando is lifted out of technical suspension today at 5 naira 99, where do you see the price go? North or south? Definitely north. North. That means the price yes. will go up. Yes. Let's leave it there. Let's uh, have a nice weekend.